remember the little things because one day you'll look back and realize that they were the big things. Mr. Miller, sir. Sorry to wake you, sir. Uh, I did try to find you in your hotel room. Yeah, I'm, I'm checking out today. And this message from your mother, she says it's kind of urgent. What's it say? Mitch, when are you going to sell the house? We're sick of asking. Is that it? Sir. Thanks. Uh. Hey. Twenty bucks? Come on, dude, I know you. You're the poor kid from year nine, huh? Yeah, you're the Miller kid. Come on, it's easy money. What's it for? You'll see. Take it. Good man. So it's it's Mick, right? Mick. Thought so. Tom. Seen all that science shit, huh? Yeah, I want to invent stuff one day. Serious? It's all a lot of crap if you ask me. Science is for nerds. Okay, just wait here a sec, all right? I'll be, I'll be back in a tick. <laughs> hey, dude. Looks like she's all clear for the moment. That's Suzy O'Keefe's house. So? So. Her dad's crazy. He'll kill you. Everybody knows that. Fine. How much more do you want? Keep it. I'm not doing it. I'll give you enough sciencey shit to last you a lifetime. All right? No, no, two lifetimes. How? Duh, my uncle's a scrap merchant man. You name it, chances are he has it lying around somewhere. But if you want to go, I mean... No, no, dude, dude, wait up, wait up. This is Susie O'Keefe we're talking about. Come on. You better not be lying about your uncle. So why am I here? You are gonna be my lookout, all right? Just in case her old man comes home. Okay, relax, okay? I should only be a couple of hours. Hours? What am I supposed to do in the meantime? Just yell if anyone shows up, all right? 
いいです、はい I was just leaving. <laughs> no, you weren't. You were meant to be here. What do you mean, meant to be? Was that you just now? Yeah, sorry. I knocked over some toothbrushes. Well,、uh, just be a bit careful, will you? I'll be in for dinner in about an hour. <sighs> It's okay. He won't bother us while he's working on the car. I'm not crazy, by the way. Excuse me? By the time you leave here today, you're gonna think that I'm crazy. I'll show you. Holy crap. You sure do have a lot of junk. It's not junk. Well, not to me. So, you're Susie's sister, right? It's time I checked. What school do you go to? I don't. My dad teaches me. No shit. Well, I mean, like, what about your mum? Dead. Car accident when I was five. But, you know, I can't leave the house anyway, though, so it doesn't really bother me. Well, that's stupid. Why can't you leave the house? You have, like, a condition or something? It's. complicated. What? Do you want to know why you're meant to be here? What's your name? Mitch. D. e e And it was me. I'm the reason you're here. <laughs> okay. I mean it. I wanted to see what life would have been like if I could leave and to meet the boy that I'd end up with. Me. Do you see anyone else here? So, does that mean that you like me or something? I guess so. We should sit. So, Mitch, what do you want to be? What do you mean? Like, what are your goals in life? In 15 years, where do you see yourself? I don't know. I want to be rich. Hmm? Why rich? Are you kidding me? Screw being poor all the time. What I really want to be is an inventor. An inventor, huh? I guess. What would you say if. What would I say if what? If I knew how to make you rich, but it'd cost you. Wow.、Well. It's simple, really. But if we do this, it may mean you'll never find true happiness. Are you willing to risk that? Yeah? Show me. Blow. Well, what does that prove? You just have to wait and see, won't you? So, do you want to know what my dreams are? Do you want to know where I plan on being in 15 years? Where? Here, helping people. How are you meant to help anyone when you can't even leave the house? That was nice. You are the weirdest girl I've ever met. I'm sorry about this. 
I really am. But hopefully one day it'll all make sense to you. Dad! Don't do that. He broke in and tried to kiss me! Did he now? Don't move. Look, I just came in to use your toilet. Shut it. Know what that is? Where are you going? To get my gun. Screw this. Oh, what? gun. Time to go. Open this door now! Get that little kid in there, I am going to kill it! Jesus Christ, Who did you do that? Yeah, that's lovely. Um, yes, as, as soon as Tom gets back in, I'll, I'll get him to call you. Thank you for calling. We'll speak to you soon. Bye bye. Yeah, no. No. Can I help you, sir? Um, yes. That wouldn't be Tom Whitney back there, would it? Yes, it would. Uh, do you want me to fetch him for you? Uh, no. Uh, could you give him a note for me? Would you mind? Thank you. Are you sure you want me to give him this? Positive. Yes. Uh, I've got to go. Hurry. I'll be fucked. <laughs> well, 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 we've got the cat right here, mate. How are you, lad? Good, good. I thought you were dead or something. So, uh, best friends for ages, then bam, makes it big and vanishes for seven years. So what's the deal? Shouldn't you be jet-setting around the world or something? I, uh, heard that you'd sold out and went into real estate. I'd have to come back and see that shit for myself. <laughs> At least I work for a living, eh, Tanya? That's what you call it. That's a nice shirt, by the way, Tom. What colour do they call that? Uh, it's a bit shut the fuck up, orange. <laughs> so you in town, Lon? Uh, no, just passing through, actually. Well, let's get pissed. Here, here. Come on, Tanya. Have I uh, told you about Rich being rich? Yeah. Invented the, uh, <clears throat> what was it, the super light suitcase. Yep, still got the prototype. This bloke's a fucking legend, mm -hmm. you know? No commitments. A shitload of cash. No commitments. Please, don't encourage him. I've been trying to get him to settle down with a nice girl for ages. And would he listen to me? No. <laughs> so, what brings you back? Ah, uh, family. I thought your mum and dad moved to uh, Melbourne. Yeah, 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 they did. I picked up a nice little pad for them in Turak. So now, they want me to sell the house on Langdon Street. Where she grew up in? Mm-hmm. You want me to sell this old shit on, don't you? <laughs> I figured you could do with the challenge. <laughs> Good God. You lived here. Yeah, until I was 22. That's where I met Dickhead. <laughs> He actually paid me to hang out with him. Oh, oh, well, that doesn't surprise me. I mean, how much was his friendship worth back then? <laughs> how much? $20,000. Mm. 
20 bucks. <laughs> okay, so I may have slung him a few bills when we were young. <laughs> You know, it's not like I've got me money's worth or anything. I did miss out on rooting the most popular girl in school, Susie Oke. Um, I bet you were saved from a few beatings from her father. Oh, God, seriously. If that had been my daughter you were trying to make out with, I'd have... Uh, hello. I was a teenager back then. Think with the penis, then the brain. Are we done for the day? We're done. Oh, good. I'll walk up. Thanks. Oh, it was nice meeting you, Mitch. Nice to meet you too, Tanya. See ya. Where are we? So what's with the second mum? Oh, Tanya, she's awesome. Hey, she knows a ship better around here than I do. So, it's a MILF thing then? What? No. <laughs> God, God, no. I don't know. <laughs> you just look at Tanya and think, no, oh, she's actually happy within herself. You know, her marriage, the kids. It's all good for her. Jesus, listen to you. Seriously. Who wants to be single these days? You know, your bills are huge. Cooking for one is a pain in the ass, and if you're actually lucky, once a month you may be having sex with someone other than Mrs. Palmer and her five daughters. You know, settling down actually starts to make sense. Shit. Yeah, right, like you've never ever thought about hooking up with and settling down with someone. Tom, the first girl I ever cared about, she turned out to be crazy. <laughs> it's been downhill ever since. <laughs> you're talking about what's her name, aren't you? Susie's sister. Yeah, D. She really messed you up back then, didn't she? <laughs> you know, she still might be in town. You should give her a call. Uh, actually, what I should be doing is finding something to eat other than airplane food and a place to crash with you. Make it early tomorrow, too. Right, I'll do my best. All right. All right. Susie? Susie O'Keefe? I was just talking about you. And you are? Oh, Mitch Miller, remember? No, I don't. Fair enough. Uh, what are you doing now? I'm just off to the real estate. Oh, he just closed. You want to get a bite to eat or something? It's a bit forward, don't you think? I prefer that we're presumptuous. And besides, I'm starving. Okay, as long as you're buying yeah. So, Mitch Miller, eh? The grubby little pobo kid who broke into my house with Tom Whitney. What is old Tumble up to nowadays? What, you don't know? That was his office we were just out front of. No shit. You seriously didn't know that? No. Small world, though, eh? Hmm. That's right. You told me that you're like some, you're like some inventor or something, aren't you? Retired, actually. Yeah, I came up with a way to make a travel case half the weight so you can fit more in. Mm. Took me two weeks to design a prototype, a week and a half shopping the pattern around. Been living it easy ever since. So, uh, rich and smart, huh? Don't forget retired. Oh, yeah. What about you? You been up to anything interesting lately? Uh, you know, I was in um, I was in telemarketing till we all got outsourced. Now I'm just looking for some rich guy to come and sweep me off my feet. What about your sister? D. What about her? Well, is she still in town? Where else would she be, Mars? <laughs> Look, ever since, ever since Dad died, it's... Your dad's dead? Yeah. Heart attack. Ever since then, I've been the one who's had to take care of her. She hasn't even stepped a foot out of the house in years. What, never? Seriously, the girl's a head case. It's just hard, you know, I mean... If it's not Dee sending me on one bullshit errand after another, it's this. Do you notice anything missing? It's like every guy I meet is some low-life cretin who thinks commitment's a curse word. Between that and taking care of D, well, all this potential, it's gonna go to waste. Well, we wouldn't want that to happen now, would we? No. 
No, we wouldn't. So, what are we waiting for? You want a glass of water? Hmm. Yeah, that'd be good. You know, it's um, it's funny, but you're the first guy in a really long time who's actually stayed long enough for breakfast. I'm talking years. It's nice to wake up to some company for a change. I uh, will have to take up at some point today, though. I've got to go see a teller about a house. That's okay. We'll just catch up later, then, right? <laughs> sure. Maybe we could even drop in and see your sister. Why? Hmm? Fine. Gotta catch up a bit today anyway. place hasn't changed much, has it? Oh, shit. What? Is she not home? <sighs> She's home all right. She just doesn't open the door till 12. <laughs> Why? Stop it. She's a bit jumpy around strangers, okay? So just let me do the talking, at least until she opens the door. I know. There's someone here who wants to speak with you. Oh, it's me, Mitch Miller. Mm -hmm. Susie, what did you bring him for? You know something bad might happen? <sighs> something bad's always gonna happen. She gets like this. Like what? Any bloody social, that's what. Look, just tell him I'm busy helping people. Go away! What? That's it? She won't even open the door? No, man. Personally, I think I'm a goddamn saint for putting out with it. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna walk. Yeah, the place I'm selling's only just around the corner. Um, I'll catch up with you later then. Are you sure? I can drive you there if you want. Yeah, it's all good. It's what I do. It's a gorgeous day. Suit yourself. Guess we'll catch up later then? Yeah, yeah, sure.
What? So, Susie was right. You, uh, you don't sit foot outside at all, do you? Look, I'm just trying to get my head around what happened 15 years ago. Okay. <sighs> what do you want to know? You do realise you shouldn't be here, right? I, I could come back later if you want. Yeah, why would I want that? Look, it's been 15 years. Yeah, and what have you been doing in those 15 years, huh? Actually, no, don't. Don't tell me. I don't want to know. I know all the things you could have been doing and knowing that. Hey, what do you know about me? You don't know anything, nothing. Just be careful with her. Careful with who? I'd answer that if I were you. Yes, hello, Mitch Miller speaking. Oh, hi, it's me, Susie. You haven't caught up with Tonya, have you? Uh, no, uh, not yet. There's something important I need to tell you. Can you get back to my place as soon as possible? Sure, see you soon. Hello? Anyone home? Susie. Hello? You came. You, uh, you said it was important. And this isn't important? But you were wonderful last night. I just want to know if it's real, you know, if it's going anywhere. It's not... <sighs> Jesus, Susie. Look, you're... S <sighs> Look, I know guys who'd be tripping over themselves just to be with you. It's just that... <sighs> <laughs> it's D, isn't it? I should have fucking known. You went back to the house to see her, didn't you? <laughs> You're just like all the rest. When it comes to the crunch, there's always an excuse. Always. You know what, here's the thought. You like her so much, why don't you take care of her for a while? What? Why? Where are you going? Anywhere but here. And the same goes for you. Get out, get out, get oh. out! So what, being crazy runs in the family, doesn't it? Oh, fuck you! What now? Uh, what? Susie's gone. She's what? I don't know where or for how long. Um, did I not tell you to be careful? Great. Looks like you and I are going to be spending some time together. Well, no, look, I just came by to tell you the news. You can find yourself another babysitter. I'm not happy about this either, but it's because of you that we're in this situation which makes this situation your responsibility. Here. And I need everything on that list by midday tomorrow. No later, no earlier, no exceptions. Oh, and one more thing. You are never to set foot inside this house, ever. I'll see you at 12 tomorrow. Oi. You were supposed to be here earlier today. I'm here now, aren't I? Care for a drink? Love one. So what did you get up to last night? I can't believe it. I simply cannot believe it. Susie O'Keefe, you are a sly dog. Yeah, well, I think I might have a little bit of a problem now. Like what? I need a place to stay for a few weeks. You know any good hotels? What's the matter with your old folks' place? Are you kidding? Place is a dump. Point taken. Uh, actually, I might have something that's right up your alley. As soon as I find my keys, I will give you a lift. 
So how long are you in town for? A week, a month. Well, I know as it may be for a while. Well, it is Susie Aki we're talking about. It's not Susie, that's the problem. It's what's her name, isn't it? Dick. Both the AK sisters. Man, you're on fire. It's not bad, huh? Entertain the client here once, if you know what I mean. Yeah, I guess it'll do. Hopefully, I'll only be in town for a week or two, though. So, does your uncle still uh, run that scrapyard? Yeah, why? Chasing a few things. Ninety-one bottle caps. What do you want them for? God only knows. Heat lamp, broken radio, pair of roller skates, six woolen gloves, left hand only. This is what's the names, isn't it? Mm -hmm. If I didn't know you any better, Mitch, I'd say you've gone and got yourself committed. Give me that. Hey, it was just an observation. Hey, um, tomorrow, mm -hmm. shoot past any time and we'll um, go over your folks' place, eh? Yeah. But that's if you're not too busy with this. <laughs> Good night, yourself. Oh, oh, Mitch and what's her name? Sitting in the tree. K I double S I N. Get out. You're late. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. I got your mittens. So? Didn't I say midday? Now something bad's going to happen. Ah, uh, don't be so melodramatic. Look, it's not my fault it took me all morning to find everything. Please tell me you got everything. Well, yeah, I think so. or bad things happen. And if you think I'm being melodramatic about it, watch the news this evening and then you'll see what I'm talking about. Right, so what do you want me to do with all of this? Just leave it on the doorstep. And be here at exactly 10.30 tomorrow and I'll give you another list. And Mitch, do how to be on time. Is that it? D? Well, my friend, it seems like you're in a bit of a jam. A little bit of a jam, just good love. Fuck off. <laughs> you hear everything I just said. The girl's a fruitcake. She's never even left the house. What do you call that again? Agrophobia. With a little manic compulsive behaviour <laughs> thrown in for good measure. <laughs> yeah, no, I definitely could see how you'd fall for that. Uh, so, now that you're all um, lovey-dovey with what's her name, how about you give me Susie's number? Yeah, well, fine. <laughs> Anything to shut you up. I wouldn't be surprised if she doesn't answer that. Believe me, I've tried. That's okay. If anything, I am persistent. No shit. You know, if you really don't want me ringing Susie, well, I can give it a miss. She's all yours. since the quake occurred, which has left entire communities in ruins. In one province, this school building collapsed, killing hundreds of children. Did you watch the news last night? Local. The earthquake? Ah, uh, yeah, it looked pretty bad, but what can you do? You can be on time for starters. What? D, how does me being ten minutes late have anything to do with an earthquake in China? How can you tell it doesn't? You're kidding me, right? Susie thought I was crazy, but at least she was punctual. <laughs> now get it right, Mitch, or something bad will happen. Yeah, like what? Another earthquake? A tsunami? A fucking head will explode. You know, most of the stuff on.
How's this for punctual? Yeah. But you forgot the groceries. <sighs> Same time tomorrow then? Any sign of Susie yet? It's been what, two weeks now? Nine days. No shit. Feels like forever. So we're conversing now or what? What's that supposed to mean? I don't know. Up until now all you've done is slam the door in my face. You gonna tell me what all that crap's for? No. Fine. Look, I might as well stop being your delivery boy then. Why don't you? Seriously, Mitch, if I tried explaining all of this to you, you'd want to lock me up in a crazy house and throw away the key. I already do. Okay then. I'll tell you, but this is between you and me. Nobody else knows. What? Not even Susie? No one. <sighs> well? What would you say if I could change the future? I think it's crazy. Right, okay. Uh, change the future how, exactly? It's kind of hard to explain if you're not up on your chaos theory. You've heard of the butterfly effect, right? Mm -hmm. Well, it's a little bit like that. It's like every change, no matter how small, makes a difference in the long run. Like moving, say, this. Now, it might seem insignificant, but doesn't the very act of moving it make a difference somehow? I mean, I could have left it where it was, but then something terrible might have happened. Now. See, Mitch, the key to it is knowing which item to move and when. Right. So, how do you know? I just do. So you seriously think that moving all this crap around your house changes things? So... So what, if... For instance, if I stand here instead of there, it's going to make it snow in summer or something? It might, if you knew what you were doing. It's not like, Mitch, you can prove that that correlation doesn't exist. Remember the earthquake the other night? You should have been here on time. 
Oh. Why? Look, D, by your logic, anything could have caused that. For all we know, a fat dude in Egypt shit on his camel. Maybe. You're kidding me, right? If you're not, then you've got problems. I'm not joking, Mitch. And if you don't believe me, you're free to leave any time you like. Fine. What about you? I've got work to do. <laughs> yeah. Screw this. Oh, poof. Been visiting what's-her-name, have we? So, who's buying the house? Some old bird. So she uh, wants to start again and knock it down. Smart woman. You OK? You just look like you sucked down a few lemons or something. Don't tell me. Trouble in paradise. I ain't love a bitch. What's the, um... Gut instinct, say to do. Run? <laughs> Tom, the girl's insane. True. Maybe she is and maybe she isn't. Or she could be just waiting for someone to come around and sort of shit out. You know, be a knight in shining armour, so to speak. You could always be that knight in shining armour, Mitch. Be the knight. Oi. Can I grab a lift? Yeah, where are you going? Nearest camping store. Why the fuck don't you drive anymore? I'm not allowed to, remember? D. O'Keefe! D! No, you're in there! D! Oi! Ah, oh, hey! Right, see, I figured if you won't come out and I can't come in, the best we can do is compromise. See, I plan on sitting here until you admit to yourself that all that is nonsense and then maybe you can start living a normal life for a change. I don't want to live a normal life any more than you want to. I'm not going anywhere this time. Suit yourself. Okay, so, when did you first realise? Mm. I was five. I was sitting in my room and I was playing with my dolls like any other five-year-old. And my mum yelled out to say that she was leaving. She was a nurse, so she was always doing odd shifts, odd hours. But we had this thing where, where she'd never leave until we'd said goodbye to each other. Anyway, ugh, this one night as I was leaving my room, I just had the weirdest feeling, like the weirdest feeling that one of my dolls was out of place and that if I didn't take the time to find the right place, something really terrible was going to happen. So you moved it. I wanted to say goodbye to my mum, weird feeling or not. Ten minutes later, some drug put his car through hers, killed her instantly. I'm so sorry. What for? Think about it, Mitch. If I had taken the time to find the right spot for that doll, she would have waited for me. And if she did that, no drunk, no accident. 
Yeah, I remember thinking at the time, how can such a little thing, a little thing change the world so much? But then I started looking at everything differently and I realised that it can. So that's what I've been doing. I've been in there, moving things around, making the world a better place for everyone. So what about the agoraphobia? Mitch, I'm not afraid of leaving. I just need to stay connected. If I feel like something needs to be moved, I move it. Good things happen. If I need something that I don't already have, I get somebody to source it for me. But if I ignore that feeling, or I put whatever it is in the wrong spot, or somebody doesn't get it to me on time. I could have saved my mum. Do you ever think that maybe you're just looking at coincidence and seeing a pattern? I am helping people. I was trying to help Susie meet somebody nice for a change, shaping events, you know, here and there, so that maybe she'd bump into someone promising from her past. If I had have known that that person was going to be you, I wouldn't have... <laughs> if I was such a mistake, then why didn't you use your powers to stop me coming back in the first place? Oh, because I'm clearly not God. I can't see every outcome of every event before it's going to happen. So sometimes, sometimes I admit a change doesn't turn out the way I expect it to. Like, like you. What, like me? Well, I mean, you had so much potential. What did you do with it? What did you invent again? A suitcase. It's made my life a lot easier. Easy, right. It's funny what a little success can do to someone. I'm going to go back inside and I'm going to keep doing what it is I am doing because, you know what, right now I think I am this close. To what? To perfection. Now go home before you stuff that up as well. I'm actually quite comfortable where I am, thank you very much. Quite comfortable indeed. D? 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 I'm coming in, alright? One, two, three! Now you fucking do yeah, please thanks. Yeah, hi, uh, ambulance, please. Mm -hmm.
chico de rasta de Nian, ¿eh? Why can't you leave the house? It's complicated. What is the point of it all? Said the farmer to his wife When all we ever seem to do is fall Ever happened to yeah, you. well, remember that when you watch the news this evening. Just don't you come blaming me when you get caught up in it. Look, just ask yourself, okay? What would have happened if I wasn't here last night? Huh? I... What would have happened to you? I can handle myself! Yeah, obviously. Miss, I can change the world. You can't even stop a burglar breaking in. <gasps> uh, where were your powers then? It's you! What? I can't, I can't concentrate in my head. It keeps going. Look! Just, man, just what I am doing here, it is important. You want to help me? Just leave, well, just please. Wait, just wait. So, you do like me? No. I just... Okay, okay, look, I'm sorry. Just... Look, D, deep down inside there has to be some part of you that knows that this, all fucking this, is bullshit. Look, I'm inside your house. As far as I can see, the world hasn't ended. So, God, just take a little step outside. One little step. See what happens. Fine. Don't! What are you doing? Let's get oh, your hands oh, off me! Oh. This, all of this, is my decision. You want to help me? Go home! Oh, what? You'll use your powers to set my hotel room on fire or something? Seriously, Dee, do yourself a favour. Burn this shithole down instead. What did you just say? I said, do yourself a favour and burn this shithole down. Bumfuck, just me. Got some good news and I got some bad news. Bad news is the sale on your folks' place fell through. Huh? Hey, the good news is you get to spend some more time with what's her name? <sighs> fell through how? Well, apparently the bank the old bird was using just went balls to the wall. It's fucked. Which bank? Well, uh, the Metro. What? Yeah, I know. No one saw it coming, but apparently. You had to be a fuck with to have left your money in there. Hello? Mitch? No, 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 no.
Go Gecko Real Estate, Tom speaking. I'm broke. Mitch? I had everything in there, man. In where? The bank. In the metro. Shit. You didn't have everything in there, did you? <laughs> it, it just seemed easier keeping it all in one place. So you're fucked. Please tell me you got some fucking contingency plan or back up money. Hi, Mitch. You there? What are you going to do? Mitch? Mitch? Hello? Check it up, bloke. It's always rough on the first day. After a few weeks, you know, you'll feel right at home. I told you about the old bird getting refinanced, didn't I? Did you tell her I wasn't selling? Yeah, she wasn't real impressed about it. But after I told her your situation, she was quite understanding. Poor rich guy, leaves all his money in the one account, so now he has to move back into his old folks' place. But there's not a great deal he can do about it. Cause he's an idiot. Happens all the time. Oh dear. Oi, Mitch. You look quite good in orange too, just quietly. Thanks, Tom. Mitch! Yes. Yeah. Yeah, of course. Where are you going with that? See that? See ya. That's what I want. Au revoir. I'm off at the pub. They are, I'm waiting for a cab.
wants to sell her house. Uh, shouldn't, shouldn't Tom look after that? Yes, but he's not here at the moment. And she's adamant she has to speak to an agent, not a receptionist. Bitch. Ah, uh, you? You. Fine, come on. What are you doing here? I work here. Wait, what do you mean you work here? It's a long story. So what, you're just bullshitting about being rich as well? Why did you come here? I'm selling the house, which is what I was trying to do the day you showed up. You mean Dee's house? My house. Dad left it to me. I just haven't had the heart to throw her out yet. She's not going to take too kindly to you selling it out from under her though, is she? <laughs> like I give a rat's ass. She's just going to have to deal with it. Fair enough. Well, if you're selling a house, you're probably better off speaking to him about it. Excuse me. Go get all Raymond, this is Tanya. Sorry, Tanya. Tom, how far away from the office are you? Just around the corner, why? We've got a customer. What are you calling me for? You want to earn some fucking commission, don't you? It's Susie. Right, so what do you want me to tell her? Nothing, you fucking bean, Jack. I'll be right there. Oh. He's just around the corner. If you want, you can wait in reception. Actually... Thanks. But just here will be fine. So what, that bus finally hit you, did it? So, um, how do I look? You look great. Yeah. So what's the deal? Tom looks like he's going to get lucky or something, and you just look... I don't know. That's Susie O'Keefe in there. What? The girl you were talking about the other day? Mm-hmm. I also made the mistake of sleeping with her the other day as well. When really I like her sister, who, it turns out, is a raving nutcase, oh. who thinks, for instance, moving a stapler, from one side of the desk to the other, and make the world a better place. Well, you never know. <laughs> Stranger things have happened. Not to me, they don't. Bitch! Seems young Susie here is in a hurry to sell. So, I need you to go out to the property and do an evaluation for me. What? Me? You got something better to do, have you? Just give us a sec, Suze. Yeah, the front. Look, I know it's what's the name we're talking about, but if uh, I were you... D. What? Fucking name, dude. D. D double E. And it's her house that she's selling. So, can't you see how perfect this is? I get to spend time with Susie, and your precious double D has to leave the house. It's a win-win for both of us. Do it, and I'll give you half the commission. Look, mate, I don't even know the first thing about evaluating a house. Oh, look, you'll be fine. All you have to do is tick off all the little boxes on the report. I'll do the estimate when you get back. Now, go and have fun. And say hi to what's her name for me. <laughs> God's kingdom is coming, and this will help you prepare, my child. Can you please get me everything on that list? List? All right. Oh. Please be with you, my son. You too. What do you want? Tom sent me to evaluate your property. Who was that? Did you know that the kingdom of heaven is at hand? <laughs> Actually, he said he'd be kind enough to help me out with a few things. So, she's uh, finally gotten round to selling the place, huh? You know about it? I'm surprised she didn't do it sooner. What's with the orange shirt? I'm broke. This was the only job I could find. What? Like... Broke? Broke? 
I've already had an advance on my first paycheck. That is really bad. <laughs> we should talk. And come inside. So, you don't care that Susie's selling the house? Of course I care. It means I don't have much time left. Time for what, exactly? This. All of this. You're right. You have been busy. I'm sorry about the other day. I'm trying to drag you out of the house. I... I'm sorry for slamming the door in your face. <laughs> Wasn't that the burglars from the other night? <laughs> yep. I figured if I kept it, he'll get what's coming to him. So Mitch, how did you lose all your money? You tell me. You're the one who can change the future. Well, would you like me to make you rich again? Yeah, I don't know what I want anymore. Hi. Do you have anything to drink around here? Gin or vodka? Both. <laughs> okay, okay. In all seriousness, what is the deal? Like one second, it's all fire and brimstone if I so much as set foot inside the house. Mm. And now, you're inviting me in for a nightcap. Not that I mind, mind you. <laughs> when was the last time you had a drink? When my dad was dead. Heavy. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Feel really good. Feels fuzzy, the room spinning. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> no, I was enjoying it. <laughs> you won't be in the morning. Mm. <laughs> and then I think you could maybe just be a little bit right about all of this, all these changes. Maybe they're insignificant. It's not like I could stop that guy breaking in the other night. Mm. <sighs> I don't know, maybe it's just destiny course correcting. I think I just need to find that one change that, like, makes all of the difference. Or you could forget all this nonsense and live a normal life for a change? Yeah, or I could do that. <sighs> OK, actually, there is a question that I've been meaning to ask. Hmm, what's that? Fifteen years ago. <laughs> Why? Why what? Why did you kiss me and then get your dad to scare me off? Yeah, that was mean, wasn't it? Yes. Mm -hmm. He had a gun. No, no, no. I was 13. I was about to commit myself to something that was going to consume the rest of my life. There was Susie. She was enjoying her. And she, Meaning all of these boys. 
happened in there. I just, I wanted to see what my life would be like before I started making changes. Like, like what I would be missing out on and who I would be missing out on. And then there you were. We're soulmates, Mitch. <laughs> well, at least we were until I stepped in and started changing things. But that's why I said to you that you weren't going to find true happiness if you became successful. It's because, well, we'd always be apart. Soulmates. You know, you're the only boy that I've ever kissed. Hmm? Well, isn't this cosy? Susie. Say, I like what you've done with the place, do you? Yeah. Susie, please don't, 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 touch, don't, 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 15 years, D, 15 years, and this is the first time I stepped foot in the place. But him? Susie, just put it, please, just get out of the house. Oh, get out, this is my place. If anyone's leaving, D, it's you. Sorry. Liz? Don't, 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 just, Susie. Oh, okay, I just came here to tell you that I've organized the removals for a look at this place. I think I'm going to need a dump truck. Whatever happens to you, well, that's your business. Oh, maybe Mitch might take you in. I told you I need to stay here so I can stay connected. I'm this close. <laughs> you know what? Fuck it. Do whatever the hell you like. But in two days, I'm going to tear this shithole down. You know, if you do need a place Look, to I stay. I said leave, didn't I, Mitch? Just go. Fine. Hope you got that evaluation done. To think we're from the same gene pool. What is this? Susie, stop it! What? Go! 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 Stop. I can't do this. I'm sorry. Look, this isn't D doing this. Alright, this is my decision. No, she can't actually change anything. Gonna work for Tom? I don't know. Before I sell the house.
I had a bar lined up and everything. So what are you leaving then? What is it that you see in her? I don't know. And repeating today's top stories, the federal government has come to the aid of Metro Bank with talk of a possible bailout package. While in local news, police have called a burglar responsible for numerous break-ins and home invasions over recent months. Stick cheese. Oh, fuck. Why are you at work? Sorry, mate. We're busy packing. Yeah, right. How far from the office are you? Uh, 15 minutes. At least 10 to 15, over the above price. Oh, that'd be good. I don't really want to go 10 Well, no, you won't be. We can Definitely fucking get won't. around at the asking price. Well, hope. So, uh, what's up? I can say the same thing. What's with the suitcase? I spoke with the old bird this morning. She's still keen to buy the house. I see, I told you he was leaving. No one's going anywhere. Will the sale at my place cover Susie's asking price? And then some. It's an even bigger shithole than yours. Perfect. I also spoke with my folks and they're okay with it. Okay with what? I'm buying your house. Look, think about it. You get to sell the place, Dee gets to stay where she is, everybody wins. Except for you. I'm gonna go get the paperwork before he changes his mind. You do realise she'd rather burn down the house than take you in? I gotta go. Remember the little things, Mitch, because one day you'll look back and realise that they were the big things. I was wondering if you were going to show up. I've worked it all out, Mitch. Not just what I am doing here, but you and me. See, this is destiny messing with us. It's trying to bring us back together, even though I've tried really hard to stop it. But it doesn't matter because I have figured it out. Dear. It's kind of ironic that you were the one who suggested it. I should have thought of it sooner. Hey. I've just been waiting for the right time. <sighs> Dee, I've come to stop you. I'm buying a house from Susie. It's really too late for that, Mitch. <laughs> what can I do to stop you? Nothing. How many more matches have you got?
Give me the matches day. Do you trust me? Do you trust me, Mitch? So, you ready to make the world a better place? Buy your movie today, azura.com.